The Australian Institute of Musculoskeletal Science, or AIMS, was started about four years ago. We wanted to bring together researchers from the University of Melbourne, Western Health and Victoria University to collaborate on bone and muscle research, particularly the interaction between muscle and bone. Importantly, we wanted to get evidence-based interventions to improve the musculoskeletal health of the community for which we serve. AIMS is unique because it brings together researchers from three different organisations. The range of research we conduct is very ex extensive and ranges from the cellular origin of bone disease such as osteoporosis. We're interested in looking at the loading of osteocytes which are important in controlling bone formation and we're using novel techniques to do this. We also have researchers involved in biomechanical uh, experiments. Well, I'm excited about the innovative technology that we're developing. In the past, you've been able to look at gait patterns using a complicated laboratory. But we've got this new system which is computer-based and uses uh, software. We can look at individual joint movements and look at uh, the influence of exercise and other interventions on this. So uh, this is a work that Peter Bavonka's group is doing. The work that I'm involved here at AIMS is related to estimating forces in joints. And so, so the biomechanics in tissues, such as bone muscles and cartilage. So, so the, the major aim of, of our modeling work in, in understanding joint diseases and, and, and joint forces is to use musculoskeletal modeling approaches to estimate muscle forces and muscle activation patterns. And based on these, we can calculate the, the respective joint forces. This allows us to compare healthy joints with pathologic joints like such as in, in osteoarthritis. So my research focuses on sarcopenia, which is the term we use to describe the age-related decline in muscle quality and function. This is an important area because it's related to disability and falls and fractures in older adult populations. So it's an important area, but at the moment we don't have a consensus definition of how we can assess it and treat it in the clinical setting. So my research really focuses on how we can uh, provide clinicians with the opportunity to diagnose and treat uh, sarcopenia and also uh, to look at the effects of physical activity and particularly vitamin D on uh, preventing and treating sarcopenia. So at AIMS we use live animal models and cell culture based models to investigate the signalling mechanisms between the bone cells and muscle cells to, to try and find therapeutic targets to correct sarcopenia and osteoporosis. Uh, recently we've developed a three-dimensional cell culture model for osteocyte biology which uh, mimics osteocytes found in the body um, and I think this is it's a really novel tool which will allow us to further tease into the mechanisms by which these cells signal and control uh, the bone formation process. We've also recently acquired a um, mechanical loading equipment which will allow us to load uh, three dim three dimensional seated scaffolds and this is a, a novel uh, technique and hopefully it will aid us in developing new therapeutics. I have uh, two main areas of research. Basically I research falls and fractures in older people so and osteoporosis is a big focus of mine. The work I'm involved in at the moment is a large study on health economics. I'm looking at the cost and the quality of life changes in people, in older people who have a fracture due to poor bone health. At AIMS, a major focus is examination of how muscle responds to exercise. And uh, my research in particular is looking at how exercise improves insulin sensitivity, which has relevance for people with diabetes. When we understand how exercise maintains muscle mass and increases insulin sensitivity, we can then design exercise programs to try and facilitate that. But if people are either unable to or don't want to exercise, we can then try and design an agent to mimic those pathways. And this is a great place to work because of the people that work here and I think what we can do is if people want to do their research here, we can get them up and running very quickly. We've got the systems in place where we can design a project for them uh, with collaborators. Uh, we can get ethics approvals done quite quickly and people can do their research in the most effective and efficient way. 
I'm passionate about the work that we're doing here because I've been involved with musculoskeletal research for over 20 years. And I've seen the positive health outcomes that have been achieved, particularly in my area of osteoporosis research, where we've been able to reduce fracture rates in the community because of the new drugs that have been developed over that time. We want to continue the momentum and that's why I'm passionate about what we're doing here at Ames.